Okay, so a pleasant day to everyone. So for today, we're going to talk about module four, which is identifying the thesis statement. Okay, so for this one, credits to the development team of the module, specifically to the writer and to SDO Pampanga. So at the end of the module, you are expected to define thesis statement, identify the roles in writing and identify the thesis statement, evaluating the correctness and appropriateness of a thesis statement, and to write a thesis statement, okay? So let's look at this first, identifying the thesis statement. So at some point, when you, when you read a text, you will usually hear, or at some point, determine or identify some sort of a voice from the author that presents an argument, okay? So if you're exposed to various academic texts, you would see that they're presenting a message, a point, an argument, or an idea. So the argument presented should reflect the main idea of the entire text. And the sentence that captures the possession of this uh, on this main character is what we call the thesis statement, okay? So for this one, okay, as this is just a review, so there. So we could see that thesis statement supporting, think, fact, explains, idea, okay? So for your activity, for my students, you could just like look for the words and then um, the biggest word is apparently thesis and th yeah, thesis, it's, it has a bigger font. And then you could tell us what you know about thesis, okay? And what does the term thesis have another definition so you could like identify, okay? So with that, let's have, what is it? Let's go to the discussion proper, okay? Almost all of us, okay? even if we do not do it intentionally, we would try to look at the main idea of the essay. Like it's not out of, out of laziness, but sometimes it, it is for us to know what, what is being talked about in the entire, what is being discussed in the entire um, essay. So when we find that summarizing statement, that's the thesis statement. So generally a thesis statement is the main idea of an essay. So if this is what you want to, Point out. This is what you want to emphasize. Okay, this is what you want to argue. What you want to argue. So, moreover, this statement explains to a reader the main idea and the writer's opinion on that idea. So, it is. It could be one sentence, usually in the introductory part of the essay, but sometimes it could be implicit. Okay, a thesis statement is a claim that could be argued. So, pending mag agree ka or you could disagree. The essay will contain evidence, pieces of evidence and opinion uh, that support the argument. So thesis statements, in writing thesis statements, you have to avoid the following. The first person, I believe in my opinion, because in this case, it appears less forceful, it appears more sub subjective. And then unclear language, like it seems, uh, I, um, it seems, it appears, okay? Because that means there's less conviction, okay? Attempting two topics at once, sometimes you have our tendency to do that. I'm guilty, I myself am guilty. Even if uh, they seem related, just pick one and stick with it, okay? And just stating a fact. So it's not just presenting something like that's already given. You're actually arguing. You want to make an argument about it, okay? So a thesis statement should contain a topic, a main idea that you're writing about, and contain an opinion about that topic. So what your attitude is towards the topic, what the main idea that you're holding about that topic, okay? So generally, para siyang ano, it's a statement that uh, intends to give, intends to persuade you as a reader. It, uh, it presents an idea that you may or may not agree with, okay? So there. Next is, you have the process in writing a thesis statement. So uh, here are the steps. We have like three. First is the topic. So you have, you should have topics to begin with. So let's say cats, okay? Next is the issue. What's the specific issue? What is the specific issue that you're trying to debate? 
like uh, it could be answer what? What about cats? Okay, cats should be subject subject to leash laws. Okay, parang ganon ito yung argument niya because probably the author would want to say that cats could also uh bite uh, uh something like that. Okay, uh, and they could actually bring or cause harm to the person that they could scratch or bite, especially if they have rabies. Step three is the position plus rational, the because clause. Your topic and issue is equal to your position. So now you're using because clause. The cats should be um, subject to leash laws because they are natural wanderers, okay? So ito yung topic, ito yung process niya. First, you come up with your topic. Next, ano yung issue mo doon? And then uh, th lastly, you should have your position, which is your stand, okay? And your rationale, okay? What, what This is the because clause. Bakit? Bakit kailangan? Okay? So, further tips for writing your thesis statement, okay? First, determine what kind of paper you're writing. It's always important. Ano ba yung, ano ba yung gusto mong gawin? Okay? What kind of paper would you want? Because if it's an analytical paper, analyze, you will have to break down an issue or an idea into its component parts. You would have to evaluate the issue or idea and present this breakdown and evaluation to the audience, okay? So, kumbaga, you're breaking a whole idea down, okay? Expository, on the other hand, or explanatory, you're explaining something to the audience, okay? Argumentative paper is ex explaining or having a claim about a topic and then you have to justify that claim using proofs or specific evidence, okay? The claim should be an opinion, a policy proposal, evaluation, cause and effect, statement, or interpretation. Pero dapat merong convincing factor. And that's the um, facts or the evidence that parang make your argument stronger. So if you are writing a text that's not among these, okay, a thesis statement should be somewhere in the first paragraph para alam nila, just like for example, a narrative, okay? So they should easily spot, they would be able to easily spot it, okay? Your thesis statement should also be specific, okay? Di siya pwedeng life could really be hard, okay? On what aspect, ang alawak, di ba? So it should cover what you will discuss in your paper and should be supported with specific evidence. So why is life hard? Because I feel, I feel like it's hard. It cannot be like that, okay? So there should be specific evidence. And this is statement usually appears at the end of the first paragraph of the paper, correct? And, and actually, the thesis statement could also be restated in the conclusion part to emphasize the argument, okay? And your topic may change as you write. So you may need to revise your thesis statement as you go along. So um, writing is a very complex process that you may have started with this idea at the end of the writing process, ito na yung nabuo, okay? And you should be ready for those kind of changes. So there, that's why we have the, re the revision, the editing, and for grammar lapses or spelling, it's proofreading, okay? So ayan, you just have, for the activities, you just have to look for the words. Oh, ito, let's talk about it, okay? So, sige, i-bonus natin to. In writing a thesis statement, you have to avoid the following, yung masyadong broad, yung masyadong wordy, masyadong general, patitle siya, or fact, okay? So, you would have to choose among these which one is the better version, okay? So, for example, a thesis statement should not be too broad. So, ibig sabihin kung hindi siya broad, dapat specific. Yung place, yung, yung per group of people, okay? So, technically, 1A is the better answer, okay? Next, a thesis statement should not be too wordy. Okay, that's very, uh, very easy. Kasi tingnan nyo, para siyang gumawa ng paragraph already. So, the better option for this one is to be. Okay? A thesis statement should not be too general. Okay? So, if we're talking about general statements, this is already 3B. So, your answer should be 3A. Kasi, uh, it, it talks about the specific students, specific skills, and specific school, okay? 
um, a thesis statement should not be a title. Like, for example, cost of living. Actually, it's not a title. It's just a topic. Eh. Cost of living. So the cost of living in Mountain City is lower. So this 4B is the answer. And lastly, thesis statement should not be a fact. Okay? So if we're looking for something that is factual, this is 5A. And what are you going to argue about 5A? So that makes 5B a better choice. Okay? Are you clear with that? So you know how to do it na. So for example, independent activity two. You have to identify if it's um, too broad, too narrow, uh, if it's a topic long, uh, incomplete ideas, and if they're fine uh, or they're, they're just okay. So this could be a little... Okay, next. So let's start. So for the first one, how I arrived at the library. So definitely, ikulang. So what about it? So yes, you arrived at the library. You're specific about the library. But it's incomplete. So what about it? So this makes number one incomplete. Okay? So it couldn't be a topic because it's too specific for a topic. Okay? Number two, if more people quit smoking, there would be fewer government resources needed to pay for long hospital stays, expensive equipment, and costly awareness programs. So this one is correct. It's okay because it presents arguments that could be actually used for <clears throat> policies, okay? Number three, if you quit eating out, you may save more money, okay? Um, this one appears to be too narrow, okay? Because it's talking to you in general and it doesn't fit to be like, a thesis statement. If it could be a persuade, persuasive statement in a blog article, especially it's using the second person um, pronoun, So, but it could be made better. But again, it's too narrow. Okay, number four. James listens to hard rock every night before bed. Okay, so what? Parang ganon. Ano ngayon? Anong pinag-aaway natin kung nakikinig siya ng hard rock every night? So it's too narrow. And um, kumbaga, even if it's TB or TN, so what? Parang laging ganun. Laging yung itanong, so what? So ito, so what? Maka, makakatulong ka sa government. Ito, so what? Makasave ko ng money ka, so it's informal and it's it's too narrow for you. It's too personal, okay? And number five, Manitoba is famous for its landscapes, weather, and festivals. Festival du Voyage Rock. Correct me if I, I'm wrong, okay? So, Manitoba. This is in Canada, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. So, you are claiming that it's famous for its landscape, weather, and festival. I'm sure this, is, uh, this, this could be proven, okay? But uh, if you're having an explanatory exposition, this could be an, an okay thesis statement. So, okay siya. The rest, you can do it already. Okay? So, ito. This essay identifies Canada's greatest prime minister, doctors, and curlers. So, ano? Sinabi niya lang. Ano bang meron doon? So, nag-announce lang siya ng topic for number 10. So, you have four items na lang. And the rest, imagine na makakapasa ka ng six points. Okay? So, with that, um, you know how to determine a good thesis statement from a bad thesis statement, okay? So, I guess you could uh, you could answer the rest already. Just make sure that you consider the given factors, like too narrow, too broad, uh, announcing a topic, incomplete ideas, too wordy, too general. It's a, it's a fact or it's a title, okay? So, with that, I hope you're, it's clear with you. Um, if you have questions, don't forget to put your comment or ask me as your teacher and then um, just comment what you've learned for today. Okay? But also to, don't also forget to like and subscribe. Okay? Thank you so much. See you on the